Hey, hi, what's going on guys? Welcome to part 9 on creating mobile web applications using jQuery mobile. So guys, now the time is when we actually want to list everything to a survey page. But in order to list all these items, we need to make a check. Like uh, the actual user who made the survey, we're only going to show them the surveys created by them. And uh, to the admin, we're actually going to show all the surveys. So that that what we're going to do this time. Uh, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna you know open the jQuery mobile uh, the actual docs. Uh, here is the docs in order to uh, they're gonna show us how to create the list uh, with jQuery mobile. And here is a very simple markup. So that what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna copy it from here like this, uh, like this. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go to my index file where it, you know, like inside the content div where it says uh, this is an index. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, save this particular list so like this. Okay. Uh, inside it, there are, you know, some uh, list items and some anchor links. So if I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna make a refresh. Here it says, you know, like here it's gonna show me the list that we have. So guys, uh, next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this particular data team attribute from here because we don't want these blue ugly links out here. We are okay with the gray ones. That's right. And guys, next thing we can do is uh, we can say here data filter. Like we want a search bar on the top to true like this. To true. Come back make a refresh and guys you're gonna notice we have you know a filter out here so if I'm gonna say BMW uh, it's only gonna show me for the one starting with B and if I'm gonna remove it it's it gonna show me everything out here so with that done guys next thing we're gonna do is <clears throat> uh, we're gonna create one more PHP file so uh, here inside the lips uh, I'm gonna say get surveys okay dot PHP or I'm gonna say PHP. Where is our session file? If not, it's in it's a dollar session username. Okay, one second, guys. I just want to make a couple of checks out here. Okay, here you know we have a session call session survey user type. Okay, so I'm gonna copy it from here. I'm gonna go to my session file. Here I'm gonna say else dollar uh, user login level gonna be equal to this particular you know uh, session variable that we created uh, earlier like at the time of login and uh, inside our file called get service very first I'm gonna include the file called session.php okay uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include the file called core or you know like this core slash uh, class dot manage survey.php okay uh, what I'm gonna do is very first I'm gonna make a check I'm gonna say if dollar uh, user login level is equals to equals to an admin then we're gonna do something else else we're gonna do you know something else so let's come to user yep it's an admin and user uh, if it's a user uh, I'm gonna call the function called list survey without any parameter so uh, here I'm gonna say very first we need to create an init variable as well so I'm gonna say dollar s init that's gonna be the survey init would be a new instance of a class called manage survey okay <clears throat> here I'm gonna say dollar get surveys gonna be equal to dollar s init and this particular function call list survey okay so I'm gonna remove the parameter from here and else if the user is not an admin that means they're gonna be a normal user that we're gonna you know pass in an array here so the array gonna be uh, where username like this okay is equal to and one more thing we need to do is I'm gonna create a variable for this username session so here I'm gonna say logged in user will be equal to this particular session so come back here and here I'm gonna you know say the is equal to logged in user so I believe that's all we need to do for this particular get surveys file now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the index file out here on the top 
uh, I'm gonna include the file called get service.php or probably lips slash get service.php and here inside these allies I'm gonna say if dollar get service is not equals to zero that means there are some results inside it I'm gonna say for each dollar get survey as dollar uh, or less surveys okay and I'm gonna you know end this PHP block here and I'm gonna you know end the if statement and a for each statement here uh, here I'm gonna say li for the a uh, I'm gonna say to a file call let's say survey dot php <clears throat> here I'm gonna say id gonna be equals to php echo dot or list surveys an id here okay uh, for the title I can say php echo dot or list surveys uh, we cannot have any title for it for sure so I'm gonna take it away from here uh, like this let me check out what we can actually write you know like we don't have any kind of title for our surveys or anything like that so uh, probably I'm not sure what we can list here so I can say <coughs> we can write out here so let's say survey you know survey done on the date we can say but you know they're gonna actually confuse the end user which particular survey they are looking at okay let's let's do it first and then if it's required we're gonna make some changes either so here is I'm gonna say date <clears throat> like this uh, come back here make a refresh it says call to a member function row count on a non object okie dokie baby uh, here it's gonna be service here it's gonna be service either so come back refresh one more time it says survey done on undefined variable this survey let's check out why here it says let's surveys not list survey so here it shows the one like here it's a survey done on this particular day but you know like uh, if, if a user gonna make I would say hundred surveys in a day so he actually not gonna be like he will be confused which particular survey stands for what so guys we're gonna make a major change to our actual <coughs> surveys table very first thing after username I'm gonna say survey title here okay I'm gonna say a war chart to 200 or probably let's say 300 okay uh, next time uh, I'm gonna come here just next to the username <coughs> I'm gonna make field call uh, title or probably I can say survey title okay here I'm gonna say survey title like this uh, value will be null for sure read only now a user can write to it and here I'm gonna say survey title okay and guys inside our file called add survey.js we need to write one more function I'm really sorry for all this I was not sure that it's gonna you know create some problem by listing them so here I'm gonna say function validate survey title okay so, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy everything from here okay and I'm gonna paste it here here I'm gonna say if dollar survey survey title uh, is dollar length is equal to zero here I'm gonna say enter survey title or probably I can say survey title is required required okay else it's gonna return to true I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna you know put it out here on the very first position like this and if everything's working fine uh, we're gonna open the class file very first here uh, I'm gonna say survey title like we want to insert that either so we need to make the changes to the class here I'm gonna say daughter survey title 
gonna be a dollar like this same thing gonna be inside the values array and inside the insert survey stuff here I can say dollar survey title will be dollar post survey title and I'm gonna pass in that here either so let's add one more survey guys uh, survey title this is my second survey of the day or you know anything you want to write in order to make sure that you remember it the issues found uh, let's say now not every time we're gonna find the issues here it says PDO execute there is an error with that I know what we need to in increase one more question mark here one more try here is a survey added successfully bang so let's make a refresh to our service table here we have where it says this is my second survey of the day that that's awesome guys now guys uh, there is something bad about our you know I would say about our creating service once the user have done creating survey it still shows them this particular dialog box so we're gonna do something for that uh, what we're gonna do is uh, out here I'm gonna say set interval okay here I'm gonna say a function like you know we're gonna set an interval or probably you know I can say set timeout that's gonna be better so set timeout like this so we're gonna do is it's gonna you know wait for uh, for some x seconds so we're gonna say those x seconds gonna be two seconds and it's gonna you know redirect the user to the file call index.php with the location equals to index.php so one more survey we're gonna create now so here I'm gonna say survey title this is another survey yeah. shop inspected I'm gonna say yes issues found you say yes one more time uh, there was no what I can say there was no what uh, there was no shopkeeper it was you know a shop without a shopkeeper or something funny here it's a survey added successfully it's gonna wait for a couple of seconds and gonna refresh the page so finally they're gonna you know get their listed survey out here uh, one more thing we can do is go back to our index file here now instead of showing them the date uh, we can show them the title okay so here I'm gonna say survey title and uh, I can remove this don't worry about the very first item because every time they are you know required to pass in the survey title so it uh, like every time it can exist so I believe guys now it's looking fine you know later we can add like later we're gonna create a different page we're gonna add pagination to it but for this particular video I believe we're done so I'm gonna see you guys next time goodbye